title appearances. The Islanders in the 80s, the original Ottawa Senators back in the 1920s, won their first four Stanley Cup finals. And the Maple Leafs won the last of their three in 1932. This is history made by this franchise. Here's Paul Porter. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the ice as NHL Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly presents the Conn Smythe Trophy. Say a lot of fans went home, but some are sticking around to see the presentation. Presentation. I'm curious who the Conn Smythe is. The Conn Smythe Trophy is awarded annually to the most valuable performer in the Stanley Cup playoffs. This year's winner scored 29 points in only 20 Stanley Cup games. Wow. The highest point total by a defenseman in nearly mm. 30 years. I think last time a defenseman did that was Brian Leach. Congratulations to the 2022 Conn Smythe Trophy winner, Colorado Avalanche defenseman, Kale McCarr. to win the Conn Smythe Trophy. Second in the last three years. Victor Hedman won it in 2020 for Tampa Bay. The youngest defenseman to win the Conn Smythe in 52 years since Bobby Orr did it. Wow. And to whom he is frequently compared now back in 1970 at age 22. He said, oh, well, it's great to hold that, but I want the, I want the real deal. The I want the cup. Congratulations both to the Lightning and the Avalanche organizations for their terrific seasons and for giving us a spectacular Stanley Cup final. For the Lightning, this was their third Stanley Cup final appearance in three years. A feat that is unmatched in, in the NHL in nearly 40 years and one that's never been accomplished before during the salary cap era. Congratulations to owner Jeff Binnick, general manager Julian Brisebois, head coach John Cooper, and all the Lightning players on this tremendous accomplishment. For the Avalanche, it's been 21 long years since they hoisted the Stanley Cup. But with a tremendous regular season and a dominant playoff performance, they've climbed the mountain and are on There's top Joe of the Sackick. mountain again. Congratulations first and foremost to the Avalanche players for their commitment, their sacrifice, and their achievement in winning the most sought after trophy in all of professional team sports. And the only original one of all four sports. also to owner Stan and Josh Kroenke, general manager, Joe Sackett, Chris McFarland, Charlotte Graham, head coach Jared Bednar, and the entire coaching staff. On behalf of the National Hockey League and Commissioner Gary Bettman, I have the, I have the privilege to invite Avalanche Captain Gabriel Landeskog to come over and accept and hoist the Stanley Cup.
the captain since he was 19. 10 years, captain only Joe Sackett served longer, 16 years as captain of this franchise. Now Eric Johnson, as Ray mentioned, longest tenured abs player, 12 years here, 14 in the league. Number one overall pick of the draft back in 2006. Andrew Cogliano, 15-year veteran. Wasn't on this team until the trade deadline. 1140 games to realize a dream for Cogliano. And that's just in the regular season. What a scrappy player he is. 5'10", 175 pounds. Here's now McKinney. He scored the goal. That tied the game. His 13th of the playoffs to tie for the playoff lead for the Vander Kane. Jack Johnson. 35-year-old veteran of 16 seasons. You mentioned a couple of nights ago, what a month it's been for him. He graduated from the University of Michigan. 15 years after leaving, played two years there for Red Barons and promised the legendary coach he'd get his degree. He did. Now he's a Stanley Cup champ. Thousand Cadre. Broke his thumb in Game 3 of the Western Conference Final in Edmonton. Had surgery. They didn't know he'd be back. He returned 18 days later and scored a huge goal. The overtime game winner here in Game 4. The move from Toronto to Colorado proved to be where his dream was realized. A fresh start. Really remade his image both as a player and as a person. He'll be a free agent. we to see what happens to Henry. Burakovsky, he and Helm, the only players who've won it before. He placed in the Stanley Cup with Washington. Kemper. Kemper. Darcy Kemper. Was he good enough to win a Stanley Cup? Yes, he is. On the road, two wins in the finals for Kemper. His teammates never lost confidence in him. There's Ronson in. Struggled out of the gate of these playoffs. Jared Bednar challenged him before the Western Conference final, becoming impact player. He scored a goal in all four games against Edmonton. And a record eight assists in the Stanley Cup final. Darren Helm, he's the other Avalanche player who's won the Cup with Detroit. Spent 14 years there. His first year in Colorado as a free agent. A average regular season race that Coach Bednar used to have in the play. I wonder if 14 years between them if the cup feels the same. Amazing. There's Devon Taves. Come over for a couple of draft picks. Uh, solidified this abs defense. An underrated, terrific player. He got a lot of attention because he was paired with the car. With that attention, people realize how terrific he is. That Stanley Cup is just about three feet tall. Two years ago in Dallas played he weighs about 30 pounds. A goal or a penalty. What a postseason he's had. He certainly got time to spike trophy votes. Well, this will continue through the team. An experience that all of these players have been dreaming of since they were young boys. Here's Emily Captain. Game. What did it feel like when you finally lifted that cup over your shoulders? Uh, it's just, I mean, that's 20 plus years of just dreaming and wanting and working for it and just finally coming to fruition after a lot of crazy years and, and a lot of hard work, but this group is just amazing. And all the way from the top to our third massage therapist, to the wives, to the fans, to our, everybody working in Ball Arena, I mean, it just, it's incredible. When you were lifting the cup, who were you thinking about? I mean, my wife, my kids, my dad, my sisters over there. Uh, everybody that supported me along the way, my mom, my brother, 
my teammates, looking at these guys. It's just, it's incredible. I still can't believe it. With NHL notoriously a copycat league, what do you think other teams will take away from your team journey? Find a kill in the car somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, listen, we've, Joe and C-Mac did a great job of picking up some pieces along the way that, that really, really made us hard to play against. You look at Cox, you look at Helmer, you look at Sturmy, Mance. You look at all these guys, all these pieces that they just want to win so bad and they just want to do whatever it takes. And it just adds up. Uh, it's just a really hard team to play against. What are you most proud of with this team? Oh, I mean, just the resiliency. You know, just the... We've had pressure on us from day one. We've been favored from day one. Uh, expectations, expectations from the outside, expectations we put on ourselves inside that dressing room. To be great and to win, but take it one step at a time. Uh, and, you know, to just keep working in the playoffs and keep finding ways to win hockey games. I think we had eight or nine come from behind wins, and that's hard to do. And that to, to not really have our best game in game five at home was an opportunity to, to hoist it in front of our fans and then come into this building and do it here. It's not easy to do, so I'm, I'm just really proud of the guys. Text me good. Text me good. Oh, he doesn't have a hint of a Swedish accent as long as he's been here in North America a couple hundred years now with the Avalanche. Yeah, he does. Well, you heard Bill Daly, who substituted for Gary Bettman, who, by the way, has tested positive for COVID, who wished the commissioner well. What a great year it's been for the National Hockey League. And what a great year for Stan Kroenke, who is also the owner of the Los Angeles Rams. They won the Super Bowl championship, hoisted the Lombardi Trophy back in February, and now a Stanley Cup title. They'll be hoisting that Stanley Cup a mile high in Denver, for a raucous parade in the ensuing days to come for those great fans. Congratulations to the Colorado Avalanche on the third Stanley Cup championship in franchise history. Final score. Yep, Colorado Sweet Sugar, I'm going to part all night long. We'll I decided to do it all. I decided to get this video because I got to get out of here. This phone is about to blow up in my hand. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it, Sweet Sugar. Hope you enjoyed it.